be able to enter into a harmonious relationship, you need to leave this behind and focus on your spiritual growth. Focus on the direction that spirit is trying to lead you in your life. This is a stumbling block. I'm here to tell you right now. The Empress, like I said, is the connection between the, the, the spiritual and the physical. What this Empress tells me is that you are growing spiritually. And because you're growing spiritually, you are a threat to the Maleficent forces that want to keep you right where they can control you. And because you're growing, because you're becoming aware of your power in the spiritual, this is a stumbling block that is being sent into your life to keep you stuck in an attachment that restricts your personal growth. And Spirit is saying, once you understand this, once you realize this, the harmonious relationship that you crave, which is not this relationship, will be brought into your life. But this harmonious... Hey there, Taurus. It's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. You guys get a twofer for the month of December. Yay, Taurus. Why do you get a twofer? Well, because the message in my most recent posting about how your person has someone else that they have their eye on was really specific, right? It really doesn't touch the majority of people out there. So I just wanted to do just another spread that could maybe touch on um, everybody else as well, right? So let's do something. Let's do a twofer for Taurus and see if we can't get some information here um, that is a little bit more applicable to everybody, okay? I know y'all get sick and tired of the love readings, right? Because there's a lot of people out there that don't give a shit about love. And um, we're going to try to pull something a little bit different. I never know what these cards are going to say. So we're just going to uh, go ahead and pull out a spread and see what's going on. Now, this is the Psychic Oracle deck. We are going to do a spread of oracle cards. These are traditional tarot cards that apply to the same traditional archetypes that you're used to, but they are an expanded um, an expanded version of that. So we're going to use these cards as the root cards for this spread. Yeah, All right, no. you guys, let's do a spread for Taurus, a spread for Taurus. Um, this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. This is the general theme of the planetary placement that could be um, um, affecting your life somehow, some way. Of course, as we all know, this is only a general tarot card reading, right? The only way to know your real reading is to have your real cards read. All right, I'm going to pray and we will lay out the cards. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Taurus with me. And Taurus wants to know what you know, Spirit. What is coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what your messages are going to be in these cards. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle just a couple more times. I'll cut three times and I'll begin to pull off the top. Please arrange yourself in the order by which you need to be seen to bring Taurus the messages that they need to know and understand. All right, let's cut these cards and see what we get. They're kind of a big, awkward deck, so sometimes they cut weird. Ready? Let's cut one, two, three. One, oops, my bad. One, two, three. The bottom of this deck is heartache and loss with the three of swords. All right. Let's see what we get here. So first card out is temptation, the devil energy, an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. Deception and envy, interesting. This is the seven of swords. Recognition and reward with the three of pentacles, talking about teamwork, collaboration, to moving on with the Six of Swords. Harmony in your life, 
with the lovers, Major Arcana, right underneath Major Arcana. Partnerships and alliances with the three of, let's see, Indigo. That's going to be the three of wands. I have to, I have to translate in my mind, right, what these cards, because they are traditional tarot. Um, the, the, the indigo border is spirit. Okay. To light. This is the sun, major arcana 19. This is rejuvenate and rest with the four of swords. Oh, we got to scoot these up. Y'all not going to be able to see them all. A little bit more, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Firm foundation with the four of pentacles. Obstacles and challenges with the Five of Wands. Choose wisely with the Seven of Cups. And positive movement forward. This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is about um, engaging, working on something, building something. Passion ignited. This is the, um, the, the Ace of Wands. Prosperity begins with the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, in the universe, the closure of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle, balance being justice, and stand your ground to the hermit solitude. Financial and material changes with the Five of Pentacles and triumph with the chariot. Beautiful. Look at that. Truth with judgment. And material harvest with the nine of pentacles. Transformation with the death card. 18 being the shadow. This is the moon transformation. Moon, memories of love, interesting movement choices with the two of pentacles. And accelerated motion with the eight of wands. Beautiful, Taurus. So I tried to put some entertaining music in this spot right here, but YouTube dinged me for a copyright violation. So it looks like we're just going to have to endure this silence for just a little bit longer. Stay with me. It's only a few more seconds. Okay, Taurus, here we go. First card out of the box is temptation with the devil. This is an attachment that is restricting your personal growth. There is some kind of temptation that is going to come your way. This temptation is something that you, it's not new to you, okay? It's not new to you at all. And whatever this is, is an attachment that is restricting your growth. What's your growth? The Ten of Pentacles, building the kind of future and foundation that you want in your life. To judgment in reverse, because you have decided to not decide to actually do something about this temptation that lingers. Judgment in reverse is also a card about a bad decision. So Spirit is saying there's temptation coming your way. This temptation is something that is not new to you. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. What's your personal growth, the Ten of Pentacles. Perhaps you keep trying to grow a foundation in this attachment that is restricting your growth. The, whatever it is, the Ten of Pentacles is not to be found here. Spirit in, re, in judgment in reverse, spirit coming in saying, this is a bad decision. Also, you have decided to not decide to 100% let this go out of your life yet. And spirit is saying that this is not in your best interest. What is this temptation? Well, it's deception and envy. This temptation, this devil card, this attachment that is restricting your personal growth is filled with the Seven of Swords energy. The Seven of Swords is a card about betrayal, deception, ulterior motives, someone trying to get away with something. It's futile. Okay, so whatever this attachment that is restricting your growth is, Spirit is telling you that it is futile for you to keep investing in this because it's filled with lies and deceit. 
the Queen of Cups in reverse, it's only going to bring you continued emotional insecurity. The Ace of Cups in reverse, it's only going to continue to hurt your feelings. And look at this, the Prince of Cups. You, Taurus, keep trying to share your feelings. You keep trying to bring this into you. And Spirit says, why? Why? It's filled with deception and envy filled with deception and envy. It's only going to perpetuate emotional insecurity. It's only going to perpetuate hurt feelings. This Prince of Cups, I do believe, is also a message that's coming in from this devil card right here, this, this devil situation, this attachment that is a restriction to your growth that you haven't 100% completely decided that you're going to cut out of your life. So in comes this message from the same toxic situation and spirit is like, it's full of deception and envy, Taurus. Why? Recognition and reward with the three of pentacles. This is teamwork. It is um, collaboration. It is... Um, Teamwork and collaboration, right? And and the chariot in reverse says your desire to have this with this devil energy is a blockage. You cannot move forward in your life until you come to terms with what this blockage is two of swords, you will stay at the crossroads. You will stay blindfolded. You will not be able to realize your future until you deal with this situation once and for all. And the Princess of Pentacles comes in and talks about your immediate short-term focus because there's a message coming into you. Your immediate short-term focus needs to be on your blockage in this situation. Moving on. This is the Six of Swords, a regretful but necessary transition. This is a rite of passage. Once you understand that this temptation over here, number one is not meant for your future. Number two is a bad decision. Number three is filled with deception and envy that is only going to perpetuate the reasons why it's an attachment that's restricting your growth in the first place. The only way that you are going to be able to move on into a rite of passage is to recognize the teamwork and collaboration that you're hoping for in this situation is your stumbling block. King of Wands in reverse. This devil energy, this temptation over here is an egocentric, self-centered energy that has nothing but their own priorities at play here. The Four of Cups in reverse says, contemplate and reevaluate what we're saying to you right here about this situation because it is an injustice in your life. It's not honest. It's not fair. And it has no purpose in your life except to create emotional insecurity and hurt feelings. Prince of Swords in reverse. This, this right here, look, the Princess of Wands, right? Exploration, discovery, enthusiasm, excitement, right? Your excitement, your enthusiasm about this, this person or this thing coming back into your life is doing nothing but taking you off track and screwing you up in the, in the mind. To the Ten of Swords in reverse, this hope of regeneration of this attachment that is restricting your growth because you've decided to not fully intentionally decide to cut this out yet, this message that's coming into you, this blockage in your life, the Ten of Swords in reverse is about your hopes of regenerating some kind of situation or relationship. Spirit comes in and says, move on from this. Move on. This only offers you loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. To the Six of Cups in reverse, it is unrealistic in the grand scheme of things to reunite or reconcile your differences with this person from your past stuck in the past with memories of love stuck in the past. It is unrealistic for you to stay here if you want your life to move forward. The six of, of Trump, this is the lovers. Harmony in a love relationship. 
to the Empress, the card of Taurus. What this is saying, Major Arcana with the lovers, is, is calling you out with the Empress. What Spirit is saying here, and, and the High Priestess no less, what Spirit is saying here is that if you want the harmonious love relationship that you wish this past relationship could be, you need to recognize your worth and your value as the Empress. The Empress is the connection between the spiritual and the physical. What this is saying is that for you to be able to manifest within your spiritual growth, you need to rely on your intuition, which is screaming at you to leave this situation behind. In order to have the harmonious relationship, you need to realize your self-worth in the Empress energy and rely solely on your intuition, not on the lies and the deceit, not on the trickery of the devil, not on the temptation to reunite or reconcile some kind of differences from the past, but to be able to enter into a harmonious relationship, you need to leave this behind and focus on your spiritual growth, focus on the direction that spirit is trying to lead you in your life. This is a stumbling block. I'm here to tell you right now. The Empress, like I said, is the connection between the, the, the spiritual and the physical. What this Empress tells me is that you are growing spiritually. And because you're growing spiritually, you are a threat to the Maleficent forces that want to keep you right where they can control you. And because you're growing, because you're becoming aware of your power in the spiritual, this is a stumbling block that is being sent into your life to keep you stuck in an attachment that restricts your personal growth. And Spirit is saying, once you understand this, once you realize this, the harmonious relationship that you crave, which is not this relationship will be brought into your life. But this harmonious relationship that you crave can't be ushered into your life because you are still energetically connected to hopes that you can reunite and reconcile with some kind of debauchery from your past. Partnerships and alliances, the type of relationship that you crave, Taurus, is on its way. This is a card about preparation and foresight. This is the three of wands, right? This is, this is preparation and foresight, expansion. Have some foresight that perhaps maybe this is not where you need to be. And the alchemist says, manifest your way out of this situation and the, the, the lovers, the harmony, a soulmate relationship can then and only then be manifested. Because in the judgment in reverse, your decision to not decide, spirit saying this is a bad decision, but you deciding to not decide is preventing, is a blockage with the chariot in reverse of you going towards your spiritual union. The alchemist comes in and says, you and only you can manifest this, Taurus. You and only you can manifest. And spirit is saying, we got your back. We're on your side. We're going to help you manifest this. But our hands are tied while you are still energetically, emotionally, and mentally hoping for a reconciliation with some kind of toxic energy from your past. Tell me about, yep, look. Look, 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 the world in reverse. This is a blockage to ushering in a soulmate relationship. King of Swords says, make some serious decisions to the Knight of Cups about who you are offering your energy and your feelings to. Sun, 19, the completion. This is happiness, success, and vitality in your life. Spirit is saying, we want to bring this to you so badly, Taurus. So badly do we want to usher in a new era of happiness in your life. But you absolutely must transform. 
with the death card, there needs to be an end to what was, a transformation in the middle, and a beginning to what will be. And the only way that you can do this is to slice and dice the situation with the King of Swords. Take authority and control over your life. Take responsibility for your choices and your actions. Look at the situation with reasoning, intellect, and power and speak your truth to yourself. When you do that, the transformation is going to take root and it is going to lead you to the sun, happiness, success, and vitality in your life. A soulmate relationship. Not a stumbling block to your spiritual growth, but a soulmate relationship where you can both grow and learn together. This is unequally yoked right here. This person that's coming back for you or has come back for you, they are a stumbling block to your spiritual growth. And spirit is screaming this, screaming this at you. Rest and rejuvenate. This is the four of, of what? No, this is the four of swords. Contemplation in a defensive posture. What your next move is going to be. After being told what you were just told, what are you going to do now? The wheel in reverse. This is a blockage in your life. The wheel in reverse can only be turned in the upright through self realization. And that's what's going to turn it. And that's what spirit is saying with rest and rejuvenate, right? Spirit is saying, contemplate what your next move is going to be. Have some self-actualization, some self-realization and understand that you are your biggest blockage to moving forward because you have decided to not decide. You're leaving the door open for this devil energy to come back into your life. And spirit says, shut it down. If you want true soulmate love in your life, you have to recognize that this is a stumbling block for your higher purpose. Your intuition spirit is trying to lead you in the direction that you need to go. And if you will listen, there will be transformation in your life, happiness, success, and vitality, a true partnership, a true alliance that you are fully capable of manifesting. But you have to take on the energy of the King of Swords and stop giving your feelings, your energy, and your heart to someone that has nothing but betrayal and deception at the root of who they are. Seven of Wands in reverse says, give this up. Give it up. Just give it up, Taurus. Give it up. Firm foundation with the four of pentacles. This firm foundation is about you taking control of your life so you can build into your future. It's right underneath the lovers, the empress, the high priestess, the devil, and the bad decision. Take control of your life, Taurus. You have absolute, complete control over your future obstacles and challenges. This is the five of wands, right? What are your obstacles and challenges? Well, the eight of cups, abandoning this situation. Prince of wands in reverse, not taking, not taking inspired action when this devil comes back into your life. The tower in reverse, averting disaster for God's sake. Averting Averting disaster to the sun in reverse, seeing clearly what you don't see. That, that's your obstacle to, to getting a massive transformation in your life and ushering in the love that you deserve, Taurus. Your obstacles and challenge, abandoning the situation, not taking inspired action, averting disaster and seeing things clearly. Choose wisely with the Seven of Cups. There is no other explanation. Spirit is saying, choose very, very carefully how it is you are going to proceed in this situation. Eight of, of, of Pentacles. Building. Engaging. 
building something of quality. This card is about prudence, right? Making prudent decisions so you can have positive movement forward, so you can build the kind of life that you want to build to the King of Cups in the realm of a, of a love that is filled with security, a love that is filled with abundance, emotional balance, control, generosity, honesty, and fairness, real, true love, Taurus, to the four of wands that will give you the foundation, the structure, the stability that you need to perpetuate a long-term harmonious relationship in your life. Hold on, I can eat a smoke break. That Darth Vader sound, that's my vape. Don't you worry about me. Passion ignited. This is the ace of wands. This passion ignited. This is what's going to come into your life, Taurus, when you finally, once and for all, disconnect the energetic cords that are holding you to this person or this situation. Prosperity begins. The ace of wands to the ace of pentacles. The manifestation of new passionate beginnings to the universe. This is the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle of your life. Putting all of this, this, this devil bullshit to rest once and for all. Undergoing a personal transformation with the death card. Closing out an old cycle and ushering in a brand new powerful cycle, Taurus. A powerful cycle. Balance. This is justice, honesty, truth, and fairness. Justice is always in your best interest. Spirit says stand your ground in justice. Spirit says close out this old cycle and begin a new cycle. That's what we're trying to get you to do. So you can move into the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a steady, stable, passionate new beginning in your life solitude with the hermit. Do some soul searching and some introspection about what's being said right here. Seriously sit down with your higher power and figure out what it is you need to do. To the five of pentacles, the, the, the five of pentacles, financial and material changes. What this is saying is, is that this whole situation here is blocking your success. The five of pentacles is about insecurity. It's about worry. It's about spiritual poverty, isolation. Spirit is saying, go into the hermit energy and do some soul searching and some introspection to avoid this energy in your life. Queen of Swords, slice and dice. Look at things with logic and reasoning and speak your truth. Cut this off once and for all to the Six of Wands so you can enter into victory, progress, and success in your life. Triumph with the Chariot. This is the vehicle that is going to take you down your spiritual path. What's your spiritual path? Well, your spiritual growth, your intuition, the, the, the manifestation of a true, true King of Cups soulmate relationship, Taurus. That is where spirit wants to take you. But their hands are tied because you are attached to something that is restricting your personal growth. Truth. Major Arcana, look at all these Major Arcana. Spirit Taurus, I mean Taurus, Spirit is trying so hard to change your life. Truth, judgment, a decision that is going to affect all of your future. Material harvest with the Nine of Pentacles. Truth, a decision, judgment that is going to put you in a position of gratitude, gratitude, spirit, spirit, Taurus. Why do I keep calling you guys spirit? Taurus, gratitude, the decision that you make, you are going to be so grateful that you made the decision to leave this fuckery behind you. Transformation again with the death card. 
absolute and utter transformation of your life. The ending of the way that things were and the beginning of a beautiful soulmate relationship. Taurus, I almost called you spirit again. Four of swords in reverse. This is a lack of, of, of progress. This transformation is going to take you out of a lack of progress in your life to the Ace of Wands and usher you into an inspired, passionate new beginning. Shadow, this is the moon. This is your, your, your soul searching in your subconscious mind and your intuition. Really, really, really letting go of the Six of Cups. Letting go of your memories of love. Letting go of your desire to reunite or reconcile with someone from your past. Because they are the devil and they are a stumbling block to your future. Deal with it in the moon energy. Your feelings, your subconscious mind. Deal with it and let go of what was and move into the glory of what will be. Movement, choices, decisions. This is the two of pentacles. This is all about balance and prioritization. It's about change. Spirit wants you to change and quickly. This is the eight of wands. This is movement, action, and swift change in your life. Swift change, Taurus, that is going to take you into the position of the Queen of Pentacles, holding title in someone's life, a significant title, home, family, being somebody's significant other, possibly being somebody's wife, to the lovers. In a soulmate, a true, true soulmate relationship, Taurus, a true, true soulmate relationship that's what spirit's trying to do and this temptation that's coming into you is a stumbling block for your future look at this the oracle card that we got from the magdalene oracle is love let's read it let's read it i really am glad that i did another reading for you guys um I felt that I, I was just called to do a reading. A beautiful relationship will soon develop, Taurus. This relationship will continue to grow for many years to come, and endless blessings will stem from it. Appreciate and savor each moment together, and always keep the flame of love alight in your heart. For love is a magnet. You cannot help but to attract love when you have love in your heart. See, what you have in your heart now is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. This whole thing from the past right here, this is not love, because this person is not reciprocating. This person is full of betrayal and deception. Love, spirit. If you're already in a meaningful relationship, then your relationship will deepen provided you're always open with each other and receptive to one another's needs. That's not this relationship. Always express any insecurity you have with your partner and you will find that your relationship continues to strengthen. If you go to this person and you express your insecurities to this person, if you go to this person and they're not receptive to your needs and they keep perpetuating betrayal and deception and insecurity, this is not love, spirit. Spirit, God, I did it again. This is not love, Taurus. What's coming towards you is love, harmony with the lovers, the empress, you and your spiritual growth, the high priestess leading you in the direction that you need to go. Positive movement forward to the king of cups, real love, foundation, structure, and stability in your life, Taurus. This is where spirit is leading you, not here. Not here, Taurus, not in temptation, not in, a, in, a, in, a, in an attachment that is restricting your personal growth, not in bad decisions. Spirit says, let this die. Put an end to this. Transform and come out on the other side in a position of growth where you can now experience real, true love in your life. This old person, this old situation is blocking you from your true purpose. 
Taurus, that was your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.